laissez-faire. 61 languages. Laissez-faire, forward slash lsefr forward slash laissez-faire, or forward slash lszf.jr forward slash, from French, laissez-faire, lsef. Lit. Let do, is a type of economic system in which transactions between private groups of people are free from any form of economic interventionism, such as subsidies or regulations. As a system of thought, laissez-faire rests on the following axioms, the individual is the basic unit in society, i.e., the standard of measurement in social calculus, the individual has a natural right to freedom, and the physical order of nature is a harmonious and self-regulating system. 1. The original phrase was laissez-faire, laissez-passer, with the second part meaning let, things, pass. It is generally attributed to Vincent de Gournay. 2. Another basic principle of laissez-faire holds that markets should naturally be competitive, a rule that the early advocates of laissez-faire always emphasized. 1. The physiocrats were early advocates of laissez-faire and advocated for input unique, a tax on land rent to replace the monstrous and crippling network of taxation that had grown up in 17th century France. 3. Their view was that only land should be taxed because land is not produced but a naturally existing resource, meaning a tax on it wouldn't be taking from the labor of the taxed. Unlike most other taxes. 4. Clarification needed. Proponents of laissez-faire argue for a near-complete separation of government from the economic sector. 5. Verification needed. The phrase laissez-faire is part of a larger French phrase and literally translates to let, it forward slash them, do, but in this context the phrase usually means to let it be and in. Expression laid back. 6. Although never practiced with full consistency, laissez-faire capitalism emerged in the mid-18th century and was further popularized by Adam Smith's book The Wealth of Nations. 7. 8. Etymology and Usage, Edit The term laissez-faire likely originated in a meeting that took place around 1681 between powerful French controller general of finances Jean-Baptiste Colbert and a group of French businessmen, headed by M. Legendre. When the eager mercantilist minister asked how the French state could be of service to the merchants and help promote their commerce, Legendre replied simply. Laissez nous faire, leave it to us or let us do, it, the French verb not requiring an object. 9. The anecdote on the Colbert Legendre meeting appeared in a 1751 article in the journal. Economic, written by French minister and champion of free trade René de Voyer, Marquise. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. D. Argenson, also the first known appearance of the term in print. 10. Argenson himself had used the phrase earlier, 1736, in his own diaries in a famous outburst. Laissez-faire. Tell devray et à la devise de tout puissance publique, de puis que le monde. Est civilise. Detestable principe que celui de ne voloi grande que par el abessement. De numbers voisins. Il n'y a que la macorne set it la malinite du coya de satisfaites don si. Principe, it a l'interet y est oppose. Laissez faire, more balou. Laissez-faire. 11. Let go, which should be the motto of all public power, since the world was civilized. It is a detestable principle of those that want to enlarge themselves, but by the abasement of our neighbors. 
there is but the wicked and the malignant heart, s, who are, satisfied by, this principle and, its, interest is opposed, let go, for God's sake, let go, 12, René Louis de Voya de Paul Me de Argenson. Vincent de Gournay, a French physiocrat and intendant of commerce in the 1750s, popularized the term laissez faire as he allegedly adopted it from Francois Quesnay's writings on China. 13. Quesnay coined the phrases laissez faire and laissez passer. 14. Laissez faire being a translation of the Chinese term Wu Wei. 15. Gournay ardently supported the removal of restrictions on trade and the deregulation of industry in France. Delighted with the Colbert Legendre anecdote, 16, he forged it into a larger maxim all his own, laissez faire it laissez passer, let do and let pass. His Motto has also been identified as the longer laissez faire it laissez passer, le monde vadeloui. Meme. Let do and let pass, the world goes on by itself. Although Gournay left no written tracts on his economic policy ideas, he had immense personal influence on his contemporaries, notably his fellow physiocrats who credit both the laissez-faire slogan and the doctrine to Gournay. 17. Before D. Argenson or Gournay, P. S. de Bois-Gilbert had enunciated the phrase on laissez-faire la nature, let nature run its course. 18. D. Argenson himself during his life was better known for the similar, but less celebrated motto pars trope gouverneur, govern not too much. 19. The physiocrats proclaimed laissez-faire in 18th century France, placing it at the very core of their economic principles and famous economists, beginning with Adam Smith, developed the idea. 20. It is with the physiocrats and the classical political economy that the term laissez-faire is ordinarily associated. 21. The book Laissez-faire and the General Welfare State states, the physiocrats, reacting against the excessive mercantilist regulations of the France of their day, expressed a belief in a natural order or liberty under which individuals in following their selfish interests contributed to the general good. Since, in their view, this natural order functioned successfully without the aid of government. They advised the state to restrict itself to upholding the rights of private property and individual liberty, to removing all artificial barriers to trade, and to abolishing all useless laws. 20. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. The French phrase laissez-faire gained currency in English-speaking countries with the spread of physiocratic literature in the late 18th century. George Watley's 1774 Principles of Trade, co. authored with Benjamin Franklin, retold the Colbert Legendre anecdote, this may mark the first appearance of the phrase in an English-language publication. 22. Herbert Spencer was opposed to a slightly different application of laissez-faire, to that miserable laissez-faire that leads to men's ruin, saying, along with that miserable laissez-faire which calmly looks on while men ruin themselves in trying to enforce by law their equitable claims, there goes activity in supplying them, at other men's cost, with gratis novel reading. 23. As a product of the Enlightenment, laissez-faire was conceived as the way to unleash human potential through the restoration of a natural system, a system unhindered by the restrictions of government. 1. In a similar vein, Adam Smith, when, viewed the economy as a natural system and the market as an organic part of that system. Smith saw laissez-faire as a moral program and the 
market its instrument to ensure men the rights of natural law. 1. By extension, free markets become a reflection of the natural system of liberty. 1. For Smith, laissez-faire was a program for the abolition of laws constraining the market, a program for the restoration of order and for the activation of potential growth. 1. However, Smith, 24, and notable classical economists such as Thomas Malthus and David Ricardo did not use the phrase. Jeremy Bentham used the term, but it was probably original research. James Mill's reference to the laissez-faire maxim, together with the pars trope gouverneur motto, in an 1824 entry for the Encyclopedia Britannica that really brought the term into wider English usage. With the advent of the Anticorn Law League, founded 1838, the term received much of its English meaning. 25. Need quotation to verify. Smith first used the metaphor of an invisible hand in his book The Theory of Moral Sentiments. 1759, to describe the unintentional effects of economic self-organization from economic self-interest. 26. Although not the metaphor itself, the idea lying behind the invisible hand belongs to Bernard de Mandeville and his Fable of the Bees, 1705. In political economy, that idea and the Doctrine of laissez-faire have long been closely related. 27. Some have characterized the invisible hand metaphor as one for laissez-faire. 28. Although Smith never actually used the term himself. 24. In third millennium capitalism, 2000, Wyatt M. Rogers Jr. notes a trend whereby recently Conservative politicians and economists have chosen the term free market capitalism in lieu of laissez-faire. 29. American individualist anarchists such as Benjamin Tucker saw themselves as economic laissez-faire socialists and political individualists while arguing that their anarchistic socialism or individual anarchism was consistent Manchesterism. 30. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. History, Edit. Europe, Edit. Main article, Economic Liberalism. See also, Classical Liberalism. In Europe, the laissez-faire movement was first widely promoted by the physiocrats, a movement. That included Vincent de Gournay, 1712-1759, a successful merchant turned political figure. Gournay is postulated to have adapted the Taoist concept Wu Wei, 31, from the writings on China by François Quesnay, 15. 1694-1774. Gournay held that government should allow the laws of nature to govern economic activity, with the state only intervening to protect life, liberty and property. François Quesnay and Anne Robert Jacques Turgot, Baron de Lorm took up Gournay's ideas. Quesnay had the ear of the King of France. Louis XV and in 1754 persuaded him to give laissez faire a try. On the 17th of September, the king abolished all tolls and restraints on the sale and transport of grain. For more than a decade, the experiment appeared successful, but 1768 saw a poor harvest and the cost of bread rose so high that there was widespread starvation while merchants exported grain to obtain the best profit. In 1770, the Controller General of Finances Joseph Marie Terre revoked the edict allowing free trade in grain. 32. 
the doctrine of laissez-faire became an integral part of 19th century European liberalism. 20. Just. As liberals supported freedom of thought in the intellectual sphere, so were they equally prepared to champion the principles of free trade and free competition in the sphere of economics, seeing the state as merely a passive policeman, protecting private property and administering justice, but not interfering with the affairs of its citizens. Businessmen, British industrialists in particular, were quick to associate these principles with their own economic interests. 20. Many of the ideas of the physiocrats spread throughout Europe and were adopted to a greater or lesser extent in Sweden, Tuscany, Spain and in the newly created United States. Adam Smith, author of The Wealth of Nations, 1776, met Quesnay and acknowledged his influence. 33. In Britain, the newspaper The Economist, founded in 1843, became an influential voice for laissez-faire capitalism. 34. Laissez-faire advocates opposed food aid for famines occurring within the British Empire. In 1847, referring to the famine then underway in Ireland, founder of The Economist. James Wilson wrote, It is no man's business to provide for another. 35. More specifically, in an essay on the principle of population, Malthus argued that there was nothing that could be done to avoid famines because he felt he had mathematically proven that population growth tends to exceed growth in food production. However, the economist campaigned against the Corn Laws that protected landlords in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland against competition from less expensive foreign imports of cereal products. The Great Famine in Ireland in 1845 led to the repeal of the Corn Laws in 1846. The tariffs on grain which kept the price of bread artificially high. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF were repealed. 36. However, repeal of the Corn Laws came too late to stop the Irish famine, partly because it was done in stages over three years. 37. A group that became known as the Manchester Liberals, to which Richard Cobden, 1804-1865, and John Bright, 1811-1889, belonged, were staunch defenders of free trade. After the death of Cobden, the Cobden Club, founded in 1866, continued their work. 38. The breakdown of Lessey. Fair as practiced by the British Empire was partly led by British companies eager for state support of their positions abroad, in particular British oil companies. 39. In Italy, philosopher Benedetto Cruz created the term liberism, derived from the Italian term liberismo, a term for the economic doctrine of laissez-faire capitalism, it is synonymous with economic liberalism. He claimed that liberalism can prove only a temporary right of private propriety of land and industries. 40. It was popularized in English by Italian political scientist Giovanni Sartre. 41. Sartre specifically imported the term from Italian to distinguish between social liberalism, which is generally considered a political ideology often advocating extensive government intervention in the economy and those economic liberal theories that propose to virtually eliminate such intervention. In informal usage, liberalism overlaps with other concepts such as free trade, neoliberalism, right libertarianism, the American concept of libertarianism, 42, and the laissez-faire doctrine of the French liberal doctrinaires. 
the intention of Cruz and of Sa try to attack the right to private property and to free enterprise separating them from the general philosophy of liberalism. That is primarily a theory of natural rights, was always criticized openly by the quoted philosophers and by some of the main representatives of liberalism, such as Luigi Inordi, Friedrich Hayek, 42, 43, 44, and Milton Friedman. 45. The Austrian school economist Eugen von Bomborich argues that the differences between the economical concept of liberalism, 46, and the economical consequences of liberalism, 47, 48, can be summarized by saying that a market is a law system. Without it, the only possible economy is the street robbery. 49. United States, Edit. Main article, Liberalism in the United States. Frank Bergen's study of the Constitutional Convention and subsequent decades argues that direct government involvement in the economy was intended by the Founding Fathers. 50. The reason for this was the economic and financial chaos the nation suffered under the Articles of Confederation. The goal was to ensure that daily one political independence was not lost by being economically and financially dependent on the powers and princes of Europe. The creation of a strong central government able to promote science, invention, industry and commerce was seen as an essential means of promoting the general welfare and making the economy of the United States strong enough for them to determine their own destiny. Others view Bergen's study, written in the 1940s and not published until 1989, as an over-interpretation of the evidence, intended originally to defend the New Deal and later to counter Ronald Reagan's economic policies. 51. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Historian Kathleen G. Dornohue argues that in the 19th century liberalism in the United States had distinctive characteristics and that at the center of classical liberal theory, in Europe, was the idea of laissez-faire. To the vast majority of American classical liberals, however, laissez-faire did not mean no government intervention at all. On the contrary, they were more than willing to see government provide tariffs, railroad subsidies, and internal improvements, all of which benefited producers. Notable examples of government intervention in the period prior to the American Civil War include the establishment of the Patent Office in 1802, the establishment of the Office of Standard Weights and Measures in 1830, the creation of the Survey of the Coast, later renamed the United States Coast Survey and then the United States Coast and Geodetic Survey, in 1807, and other measures to improve river and harbor navigation, the various army expeditions to the West, beginning with Lewis and Clark's Corps of Discovery in 1804 and continuing into the 1870s. Almost always under the direction of an officer from the Army Corps of Topographical Engineers and which provided crucial information for the overland pioneers that followed, the assignment of Army engineer officers to assist or direct the surveying and construction of the early railroads and canals and the establishment of the First Bank of the United States and Second Bank of the United States, as well as various protectionist measures, for example, the Tariff of 1828. Several of these proposals met with serious opposition and required a great deal of horse trading to be enacted into law. For instance, the first national bank would not have reached the desk of President George Washington. In the absence of an agreement that was reached between Alexander Hamilton and several 
southern members of Congress to locate the capital in the District of Columbia. In contrast to Hamilton and the Federalists was Thomas Jefferson and James Madison's opposing political party. The Democratic Republicans Most of the early opponents of laissez-faire capitalism in the United States subscribed to the American School. This school of thought was inspired by the ideas of Hamilton, who proposed the creation of a government-sponsored bank and increased tariffs to favor northern industrial interests. Following Hamilton's death, the more abiding protectionist influence in the antebellum period came from Henry Clay and his American system. In the early 19th century, it is quite clear that the laissez-faire label is an inappropriate one to apply to the relationship between the United States government and industry. 52. In the mid-19th century, the United States followed the Whig tradition of economic nationalism, which included increased state control, regulation and macroeconomic development of infrastructure. 53. Public works such as the provision and regulation. Transportation such as railroads took effect. The Pacific Railway Acts provided the development of the first transcontinental railroad. 53. 54. To help pay for its war effort in the Civil War, the United States government imposed its first personal income tax on 5 August 1861 as part of the Revenue Act of 1861, 3% of all incomes over US$800, rescinded in 1872. Following the Civil War, the movement towards a mixed economy accelerated protectionism. Increased with the McKinley Tariff of 1890 and the Dingley Tariff of 1897. Government regulation of the economy expanded with the enactment of the Interstate Commerce Act of 1887 and the Explore Our Developer Friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Sherman Antitrust Act. The Progressive Era saw the enactment of more controls on the economy, as evidenced by the Woodrow Wilson administration's new freedom program. Following World War I and the Great Depression, the United States turned to a mixed economy which combined free enterprise with a progressive income tax and in which from time to time the government stepped in to support and protect American industry from competition from overseas. For example, in the 1980s the government sought to protect the automobile industry by voluntary export restrictions from Japan. 55. In 1986, Pietro S. Nivola wrote, by and large, the comparative strength of the dollar against major Foreign currencies has reflected high U.S. interest rates driven by huge federal budget deficits. Hence, the source of much of the current deterioration of trade is not the general state of the economy, but rather the government's mix of fiscal and monetary policies that is, the problematic juxtaposition of bold tax reductions, relatively tight monetary targets, generous military outlays, and only modest cuts in major entitlement programs. Put simply, the roots of the trade problem and of the resurgent protectionism it has fomented are fundamentally political as well as economic. 56. A more recent advocate of total laissez-faire has been objectivist Ayn Rand, who described it as the abolition of any and all forms of government intervention in production and trade, the separation of state and economics, in the same way and for the same reasons as the separation of church and state. 57. This viewpoint is summed up in what is known as the Iron Law of Regulation, which is a theory stating that all government economic regulation eventually leads to a net loss in 
social welfare. 58. Rand's political philosophy emphasized individual rights, including property rights. 59. And she considered laissez-faire capitalism the only moral social system because in her view it was the only system based on the protection of those rights. 60. She opposed statism, which she understood to include theocracy, absolute monarchy, Nazism, fascism, communism, socialism, and dictatorship. 61. Rand believed that natural rights should be enforced by a constitutionally limited government. 62. Although her political views are often classified as conservative or libertarian, she preferred the term radical for capitalism. She worked with conservatives on political projects, but disagreed with them over issues such as religion and ethics. 63. She denounced libertarianism, which she associated with anarchism. 64. She rejected anarchism as a naive theory based in subjectivism that could only lead to collectivism in practice. 65. Models, edit. Capitalism, edit. Main article, capitalism. See also, neoliberalism. A closely related name for laissez-faire capitalism is that of raw, pure, or unrestrained capitalism, which refers to capitalism free of any regulations, 66, with low or minimal, 67, government and explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF, operating almost entirely on the profit motive. It shares a similar economic conception with anarcho-capitalism. Advocates of laissez-faire capitalism argue that it relies on a constitutionally limited government that unconditionally bans the initiation of force and coercion, including fraud. Therefore, free market. Economists such as Milton Friedman and Thomas Sowell argue that, under such a system, Relationships between companies and workers are purely voluntary and mistreated workers will seek better treatment elsewhere. Thus, most companies will compete for workers on the basis of pay, benefits, and work-life balance just as they compete with one another in the marketplace on the basis of the relative cost and quality of their goods. 68. Non-primary source needed 69. Non-primary source needed. So-called raw or hypercapitalism is a major motif of cyberpunk in dystopian works such as Syndicate. 70, 71. Socialism, edit. Main article, Socialism. See also, Free Market Anarchism, Market Socialism, and Socialist Economics. Although laissez-faire has been commonly associated with capitalism, there is a similar laissez-faire economic theory and system associated with socialism called left-wing laissez-faire, 72, 73, or free market anarchism, also known as free market anti-capitalism and free market socialism to distinguish it from laissez-faire capitalism, 74, 75. 76. One first example of this is mutualism as developed by Pierre Joseph Proudhon in the 18th century, from which emerged individualist anarchism. Benjamin Tucker is one eminent American individualist anarchist who adopted a laissez faire system he termed anarchistic socialism in contraposition to state socialism. 77, 78. This Tradition has been recently associated with contemporary scholars such as Kevin Carson, 79, 80, Roderick T. Long, 81, 82, Charles W. Johnson, 83, Brad Spangler, 84, Sheldon Richman, 85, 86, 87, Chris Matthews Barra, 88, 
and Gary Chartier, 89, who stress the value of radically free markets. Termed freed markets to distinguish them from the common conception which these left libertarians believe to be riddled with capitalist and statist privileges. 90, referred to as left-wing market. Anarchists, 91, or market-oriented left libertarians, 87, proponents of this approach strongly affirm the classical liberal ideas of self-ownership and free markets while maintaining that taken to their logical conclusions these ideas support anti-capitalist, anti-corporatist, anti-hierarchical and pro-label positions in economics, anti-imperialism in foreign policy, and thoroughly radical views regarding such cultural issues as gender, sexuality and race. 92, 93, critics of laissez-faire as commonly understood argues that a truly laissez-faire system would be anti-capitalist and socialist. 94, 95. Kevin Carson describes his politics as on the outer fringes of both free market libertarianism and socialism, 96, and has also been highly critical of intellectual property. 97, Carson has identified the Explore Our Developer Friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Work of Benjamin Tucker, Thomas Hodgskin, Ralph Borsodi, Paul Goodman, Lewis Mumford, Eleanor Ostrom, Peter Kropotky and Ivan Illich as sources of inspiration for his approach to politics and economics. 98. In addition to individualist anarchist Benjamin Tucker's big four monopolies, land, money, tariffs and patents, he argues that the state has also transferred wealth to the wealthy by subsidizing organizational centralization in the form of transportation and communication subsidies. Carson believes that Tucker overlooked this issue due to Tucker's focus on individual market transactions whereas he also focuses on organizational issues. As such, the primary focus of his most recent work has been decentralized manufacturing and the informal and household economies. 99. The theoretical sections of Carson's studies in mutualist political economy are also presented as an attempt to integrate marginalist critiques into the labor theory of value. 100. In response to claims that he uses the term capitalism incorrectly, Carson says he is deliberately choosing to resurrect what he claims to be an old definition of the term to make a point. He claims that the term capitalism as it was originally used, did not refer to a free market but to a type of statist class system in which capitalists controlled the state and the state intervened in the market on their behalf. 101. Carson holds that capitalism, arising as a new class society directly from the old class society of the Middle Ages, was founded on an act of robbery as massive as the earlier feudal conquest of the land. It has been sustained to the present by continual state intervention to protect its system of privilege without which its survival is unimaginable. 102. Carson argues that in a truly laissez-faire system the ability to extract a profit from labor and capital would be negligible. 103. Carson coined the pejorative term vulgar libertarianism, a phrase that describes the use of a free market rhetoric in defense of corporate capitalism and economic inequality. According to Carson, the term is derived from the phrase vulgar political economy which Karl Marx described as an economic order that deliberately becomes increasingly apologetic and makes strenuous attempts to talk out of existence the ideas which contain the contradictions existing in economic life. 104. 
Gary Chartier offers an understanding of property rights as contingent yet tightly constrained social strategies, reflective of the importance of multiple, overlapping rationales for separate ownership and of natural law principles of practical reasonableness, defending robust yet non-absolute protections for these rights in a manner similar to that employed by David Hume. 105. This account is distinguished both from Lockean and Neo-Lockean views which deduce property rights from the idea of self-ownership and from consequentialist accounts that might license widespread ad hoc Interference with the possessions of groups and individuals. 106. Chartier uses this account to ground a clear statement of the natural law basis for the view that solidaristic wealth redistribution by individual persons is often morally required, but as a response by individuals and grassroots networks to particular circumstances rather than as a state-driven attempt to achieve a particular distributive pattern. 107. He advances detailed arguments for workplace democracy rooted in such natural law principles as subsidiarity, 108, defending it as morally desirable and as a likely outcome of the elimination of injustice rather than as something to be mandated by the state. 109. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Chartier has discussed natural law approaches to land reform and to the occupation of factories by workers. 110. He objects on natural law grounds to intellectual property protections, drawing on his theory of property rights more generally, 111, and develops a general natural law account of boycotts. 112, he has argued that proponents of genuinely freed markets should explicitly reject capitalism and identify with the global anti-capitalist movement while emphasizing that the abuses the anti-capitalist movement highlights result from state-tolerated violence and state-secured privilege rather than from voluntary cooperation and exchange. According to Chartier, it makes sense for freed market advocates to name what they oppose capitalism. Doing so calls attention to the freedom movement's radical roots, emphasizes the value of understanding society as an alternative to the state, underscores the fact that proponents of freedom object to non-aggressive, as well as aggressive restraints on liberty, ensures that advocates of freedom aren't confused with People who use market rhetoric to prop up an unjust status quo, and expresses solidarity between defenders of freed markets and workers, as well as ordinary people around the world who use capitalism as a shorthand label for the world system that constrains their freedom and stunts their lives. 102, 113 Criticism, Edit Further information, criticism of capitalism. Over the years, a number of economists have offered critiques of laissez-faire economics. Adam Smith acknowledges some moral ambiguities towards the system of capitalism. 114, Smith had misgivings concerning some aspects of each of the major character types produced by modern capitalist society namely the landlords, the workers and the capitalists. 114, Smith claimed that, t, he, landlords' role in the economic process is passive. Their ability to reap a revenue solely from ownership of land tends to make them indolent and inept, and so they tend to be unable to even look after their own economic interests. 114, and that, t, he increase in population should increase the demand for food, which should increase rents, 
which should be economically beneficial to the landlords. According to Smith, the landlords should be in favor of policies which contribute to the growth in the wealth of nations, but they often are not in favor of these pro-growth policies because of their own indolent induced ignorance and intellectual flabbiness. 114, Smith stated, clearly that he believed that without morality and laws, society would fail. From that perspective, it seems dubious that Smith supported a pure laissez-faire style of capitalism, and the ideas he supports in the wealth of nations is heavily dependent on the moral philosophy from his previous work, Theory of Moral Sentiment. 115. Many philosophers have written on the systems society has created to manage their civilizations. Thomas Hobbes used the concept of a state of nature, which is a time before any government or laws, as a starting point to consider the question. In this time, life would be war of all against all. Further, in such condition, there is no place for industry, because the fruit thereof is uncertain. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Continual fear and danger of violent death, and the life of man solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. 116. Regardless of preferred political preference, all societies require shared moral values as a prerequisite on which to build laws to protect individuals from each other. Adam Smith wrote Wealth of Nations during the Enlightenment, a period of time when the prevailing attitude was, all things can be known. In effect, European thinkers, inspired by the likes of Isaac Newton and others, set about to find the laws of all things, that there existed a natural law underlying all aspects of life. They believed that these could be discovered and that everything in the universe could be rationally demystified and catalogued, including human interactions. 117. Critics and market abolitionists such as David McNally argue in the Marxist tradition that the logic of the market inherently produces inequitable outcomes and leads to unequal exchanges, arguing that Smith's moral intent and moral philosophy espousing equal exchange was undermined by the practice of the free market he championed. According to McNally, the development of the market Economy involved coercion, exploitation and violence that Smith's moral philosophy could not countenance. 118. The British economist John Maynard Keynes condemned laissez-faire economic policy on several occasions. 119. In the end of laissez-faire, 1926, one of the most famous of his critiques, Keynes argues that the doctrines of laissez-faire are dependent to some extent on improper deductive reasoning and says the question of whether a market solution or state intervention is better must be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. 120. The Austrian school economist Friedrich Hayek stated that a freely competitive, laissez-faire Banking industry tends to be endogenously destabilizing and pro-cyclical, arguing that the need for central banking control was inescapable. 121. Karl Polanyi's Great Transformation criticizes self-regulating markets as aberrational, unnatural phenomena which tend towards social disruption. 122, 123. In modern economics laissez-faire typically has a bad connotation, which hints towards a perceived need for restraint due to social needs and securities that cannot be adequately responded to by companies with just a motive for making profit. Robert Kuttner states that for over a century, 
popular struggles in democracies have used the nation-state to temper raw capitalism. The power of voters has offset the power of capital. But as national barriers have come down in the name of freer commerce, so has the capacity of governments to manage capitalism in a broad public interest. So the real issue is not trade but democratic governance. 124. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. The main issues of raw capitalism are said to lie in its disregard for quality, durability, sustainability, respect for the environment and human beings as well as a lack of morality. 125. From this more critical angle, companies might naturally aim to maximize profits at the expense of workers and broader social interests. 126. See also, edit. Anarcho-capitalism. Authoritarian liberalism, a term by Hermann Heller. Corporatocracy. Deregulation. Economic liberalism. Free market. Free market anarchism. Free trade. History of economic thought. Liberalism. Libertarianism. Market fundamentalism. Market socialism. Neoliberalism. Objectivism. Physiocracy. Privatization. Wu Wei. References, edit. 1 carat A B C D E F Gaspard, Tufik. A Political Economy of Lebanon 1948-2002, The Limits of Laissez-Faire. Boston, Brill, 2004. ISBN 978-90-04-13259-7, Page Needed. 2 carat Ellen Judy Wilson, Peter Hans Ryle. 1 first of August 2004 Encyclopedia of the Enlightenment Infobase Publishing P241 ISBN 9780-8160-5335-3 Archived from the original on the 23rd of July 2023 Retrieved the 21st of July, 2012. 3 Carat Rothbard, Murray, 1995. An Austrian Perspective on the History of Economic Thought. Edward Elgar. Publishing. P371. ISBN 0-945466-48x. 4 Carat Gaffney, Mason. The Taxable Surplus of Land, Measuring, Guarding and Gathering It. Archived. From the original on 10 May, 2015. Retrieved 9 December, 2014. 5 Carat Quick Reference Handbook Set, Basic Knowledge and Modern Technology, Revised, by Edward H. Litchfield, Ph.D. 6 Carat Laissez-faire archived 27 September, 2015 at the Wayback Machine, Business Dictionary. 7 Carat Edward H. Litchfield. Quick Reference Handbook Set, Basic Knowledge and Modern Technology. Revised ed. 8 Carat Adam Smith. Encyclopedia Britannica. Archived from the original on the 12th of April, 2020. Retrieved. The 12th of April, 2020. Nine Carat Journal Economique archived the 30th of April, 2020 at the Wayback Machine. 1751 article by the French Minister of Finance. 10 Carat M. D. Argenson. Lettre au sujet de la dissertation sur le commerce du Marquis de Bayonne, Avril 1751. 
Journal Economique P111 archived the 26th of October 2022 at the Wayback Machine. Sia Onkin, die. Maxime laissez faire et laissez passer, Ia Ursprung, Ia Wooden, 1866. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 11 characters quoted in J.M. Keynes, 1926, The End of Laissez Faire. Argenson's memoirs were published. Only in 1858, E.D. Janet, Tome V, P. 362. Sia Onkin, Die Maxime Laissez Faire et Laissez Passer. Ia Ursprung, Ia Wooden, 1866. 12 carat original somewhat literal translation using the French Wiktionary archived the 5th of June 2019 at the Wayback Machine 13 carat Badiens McCabe Ina 2008 Orientalism in early modern France Eurasian trade exoticism and the Ancien Regime Berg Publishers PP 271272. ISBN 978-1-84520-374-0. 14 Carat Encyclopedia Britannica. Encyclopedia Britannica, Inc. the 31st of May 2023. Archived from the original on the 22nd of May 2015. Retrieved the 23rd of June 2022. 15 carat A B Clark J J. 1997. Oriental Enlightenment: The Encounter Between Nation and Western Thought. Routledge. P50. ISBN 978-0-415-133760. Sixteen carat according to J. Turgotzillage de Vincent de Gournay Mercure, August, 1759, Rupert in Overov. Turgot, Volume 1 PM 288 archived 12 November 2022 at the Wayback Machine. Seventeen carat Gournay was credited with the phrase by Jax Turgot, Illage Gournay. Mercury 1759, the Marquise de Mirabio, Philosophy Rural 1763 and Ephemerides du Citoyen, 1767, the Comte d'Alban. Illage Historique de M. Quesnay, Nouvelles Ephemerides Economics, May, 1775, pp. 136137. And Dupont de Nemours, Introduction to Over de Jax Turgot, 1808-11, Volume I, pp. 257-259. Der ed, among others. 18 carat tant, encore un fois, question on les faire la nature, on any doit ren craindre de peril, p.s. de Bois Gilbert. 1707, Dissertation de la nature des richesses, de l'argentite des tribus. 19 carat du pont de Nimas, Opsit, p. 258. Onkin, Opsit, and Keynes, Opsit, also credit the Marquise. D. Argenson with the phrase pour gouvernement mieux, il faudrait gouvernement ones, to govern best, one. Needs to govern less, possibly the source of the famous that government is best which governs. Least motto popular in American circles, attributed variously to Thomas Paine, Thomas Jefferson and Henry Thoreau. 20 carat ABCD fine, Sydney. Laissez-faire and the general welfare state. United States, the University of Michigan Press. 1964. Print. 21 Carat McGregor, Economic Thought and Policy, London, 1949, pp. 5467. 
22 carat Watley's Principles of Trade are reprinted in works of Benjamin Franklin, Volume 2, p. 401 archived. The 12th of November, 2022 at the Wayback Machine. 23 carat Justice Part 4 of Ethics, 1892. P. 44. 24 carat A. B. Roy C. Smith. Adam Smith and the Origins of American Enterprise, How the Founding Fathers Turned to a Great Economist's Writings and Created the American Economy, Macmillan, 2004, ISBN 0 312 32576 2, pp. 1314. 25 Carat Abbott P. Usher, et al. 1931. Economic History The Decline of Laissez-Faire American Economic Review 22, 1, Supplement 310 26 Carat Andres Marroquin, Invisible Hand, The Wealth of Adam Smith, The Minerva Group, Inc., 2002 ISBN 1-4102-0288-7 P. 123. 27 Carat John Eatwell, The Invisible Hand, W. W. Norton and Company, 1989, pp. Preface, X1. 28 Carat The Mathematical Century, The Thirty Greatest Problems of the Last 100 Years, 2006, Pier Giorgio. O. De Freddy, Archero Sangali. Freeman J. Dyson, p. 122. Princeton University Press. The 22nd of October, 2006. ISBN 978-0-691-12805-4. Retrieved the 30th of July, 2013. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 29 Carat Rogers, Wyatt M. 2000. 1. Economic Forces in Modern Capitalism. 3rd Millennium Capitalism. Convergence of Economic, Energy, and Environmental Forces. ABC Clio eBook. Westport, Connecticut, Greenwood Publishing Group, P38, ISBN 978-1-56720-360-8, retrieved 30 December, 2016, 30 Carat Tucker, Benjamin, 1926, Individual Liberty, Selections from the Writings of Benjamin R. Tucker New York, Vanguard Press pp. 119 ISBN Missing 31 Carat Christian Jelak, Wu Wei in Europe A Study of Eurasian Economic Thought Archived 2020 08-03 at the Wayback Machine London School of Economics March 2005 P3 The Diffusion of Wu Wei, co-evolved with the Inner European Laissez-Faire Principle, the Libania Sion Model. P8 Thus, Wu Wei has to be recognized as a laissez-faire instrument of Chinese political economy P10 practicing. Wu Wei AI. Consequently, it is this variant of the laissez-faire maxim in which the basis of physiocracy's moral philosophy is to be located. Pridat's work made clear that the Wu Wei of the complete economy has to be considered central to physiocracy, p. 11 that Wu Wei translates into French as laissez-faire. 32 Carat Will and Ariel Durant, Rousseau and the Revolution, pp. 7177, Simon and Scuster, 1967, ISBN 0-671-63058-X. 33 Carat Will and Ariel Durant, Rousseau and the Revolution, p. 76, Simon and Scuster, 
1967, ISBN 0-671-63058X. 34 Carat Scott Gordon, 1955. The London Economist and the High Tide of Laissez-Faire. Journal of Political Economy. 63 6461488210.1086 forward slash 257722. S2 SID 15492178335 Carat Cormac O'Grader, 1995. Section Ideology and Relief in CHPT2. The Great Irish Famine. Cambridge. University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-55787-0. 36-carat George Miller. On Fairness and Efficiency. The Policy Press, 2000. ISBN 978-1-86134-221-8P344. 37 Carat Christine Kineally. A Death Dealing Famine The Great Hunger in Ireland. Pluto Press, 1997. ISBN 978-0-7453-1074-9. P59. 38 Carat Antonia Tadia, 1999. London Clubs in the Late 19th Century, PDF Archived, PDF From the original on the 17th of December, 2008 Retrieved the 30th of December, 2008 39 Carat Jones, G. Gareth, 1977 The British Government and the Oil Companies 1912-1924, The Search Foreign Oil Policy. The Historical Journal. 2, 3647672-10.1017 forward slash S0018246 X0001128 JSTA 2638433 S2 SID 16197740140 40 carat, Chrysine Audi. 1988, P139. 41 Carat Giovanni Sartre. The Theory of Democracy Revisited, 1987. Chatham, New Jersey. Chatham. House. ISBN 0-934540-49-7. 42 Carat A.B. Pietro Moroni. The 25th of April, 2015. Le Dieu Fax della Medaglia Neoliberale Padora Revista. Padora Revista. Archived from the original on the 22nd of June, 2018. Retrieved the 22nd of October, 2018. 43 Carat Cruz Edine Ordi, UN Confronto su Liberalismo e Liberismo Entry, in Italian. In the Encyclopedia. Trecani. 44 Carat Dario Antisoi. Liberalismo Politico e Liberalismo Economico. Rubettino. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 45 Carat F. Hayek, 1997. Liberalismo. Idazian. P62. CIO Comporta and Chil Refiuto della Distinzione Tro. Liberalismo Politico e Liberalismo Economico forward slash elaborator in particolare the Cruz cum Distinzione Tro. Liberismo e Liberalismo, per la tradizione inglese, i du concetti sono inseparabili. Infatti, il principio. Fondamentale per qui l'intervento coercitivo dell'autorità statale div limitus i ad imporial rispetto del norm generale di i mera condotta priva il governo del poteria di i dirigeria e controlleria la attività.
Economic degli individui. 46 carat i sosena tri deli sistenza di i una dottrina liberis de la retribiscono ad Adam Smith e al suo sagio la. Rukiza del nazioni, la dove questi utilizzo il termine liberal policy un pio di volt per indicare il. Commercio privo di daisy. Smith non vedeva di buon occhio la senza di regolamentazion statal, infarti. Dichiaro, raramente largent dello stesso mestiere si ritrova in seam, and cessi per motivi di svago e. Di divertimento, senza che la conversazione risulti in una cosperazione contro i profanio in un quilch. Espedient per far alzar i prezi. 47 carat la lingua francis parla di i liberalism politic e liberalism economic, quest ultimo geometo. Anche laissez fair, let. La siat fair, lo spanalo di i liberalismo social e liberalismo economico. La. Lingua inglese parla di i free trade, libero commercio, ma usa il term in liberalism anche per riferirsi al. Liberismo economico. 48 carat Carlo, scognomiglio pesni. Liberismo e liberalismo nella polemica fra cruz e di nordi, pdf. Archived from the original, pdf, on the 28th of December, 2016. Retrieved the 22nd of October, 2018. 49 carat Bermboric, 1999. Poterio leg economica. Rabettino. P67. 50 carat Virgin, Frank, 1989. The Great Challenge, The Myth of Laissez-Faire in the Early Republic. New. York, George Brazilla Incorporated. ISBN 978-0-06-097296-7. Page needed. 51 carat Virgin, Frank. The 1st of June, 1989. The Great Challenge, The Myth of Laissez-Faire in the Early Republic. Kirkusreviews.com. Archived from the original on the 21st of September, 2013. Retrieved the 30th of July, 2013. 52 carat Prince, Carl E. Dot, Taylor, Seth. 1982. Daniel Webster, The Boston Associates, and the U.S. Government's Role in the Industrializing Process, 1815-1830. Journal of the Early Republic. 2, 3. 283299. 10.2307 forward slash 312297.5. Just a 3122975. 53 carat A. B. Gisso, Alan C. 1999. Abraham Lincoln, Redeemer President. Grand Rapids, W. B. Here Edmonds. Pub. Company. ISBN 978-0-8028-3080-1. Page needed. 54 carat from sea to shining sea, the heroes and villains of the first transcontinental railroad. The Objective Standard. The 10th of May, 2019. Archived from the original on the 29th of April, 2021. Retrieved the 29th of April, 2021. 55 carat Robert W. Crandall, 1987. The Effects of U.S. Trade Protection for Autos and Steel, PDF. Brookings Papers on Economic Activity. 1987, 127-1288-2, 10.2307 forward slash 2534518. Just a 2534518. Archived, PDF, from the original on the 1st of October, 2019. 
retrieved the 24th of September 2019. 56 carat Pietro S. Nivola, 1986. The New Protectionism, U.S. Trade Policy in Historical Perspective. Political. Science Quarterly. 101, 457 forward slash 21507952. Jster 2150795 57 Carat Rand, Ain Capitalism, The Unknown Ideal, Chapter 7, New American Library, Signet, 1967 58 Carat Armstrong, J. Scott, Green, Keston C. The 1st of October, 2013 Effects of Corporate Social Responsibility and Irresponsibility Policies Journal of Business Research Strategic Thinking in Marketing 66, 10 1922 1927 Site 10.1.1.663.508 Do, 10.1016 forward slash j. Buzzers. 2013.02.014 S2 SID 1450590555 59 carat Paykoff 1991 PP 35352 60 carat Got Thelf 2000 PP 9192 Paykoff 1991 PP 379380 61 carat Paykoff 1991 pp. 369. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 62 carat Paykoff 1991, p. 367. 63 carat Burns 2009, pp. 174177, 209. 23231, Denuil and Rasmussen 1986, pp. 225226, Doherty 2007, pp. 189190, Brandon 1986, p. 252. 64 Carat Sia Barra 1995, pp. 266267. Burns 2009, pp. 268269. 65 Carat Sia Barra 1995, pp. 28281. Paykoff 1991, pp. 371372. Merrill 1991, p. 139. 66 Carat Nolan, Peter, 2008. Capitalism and Freedom, The Contradictory Character of Globalization Anthem Press ISBN 978-1-84331-282-6 Retrieved 9 February, 2017 67 Carat Orchard, Lionel, Stretton, Hugh, 2016 Public Goods, Public Enterprise Public Choice, Theoretical Foundations of the Contemporary Attack on Government Springer ISBN 978-1-349-23505-6 Retrieved 9 February, 2017 68 Carat Milton Friedman on Labor Unions Free to Choose The 22nd of February, 2011 Archived from the original on the 11th of December 2021, retrieved the 29th of April 2021. 69 Carat Economics versus Need by Dr. Thomas Sowell. www.creators.com, the 11th of June 2013. Archived from. 
the original on the 29th of April 2021 retrieved the 29th of April 2021 70 carat Paris Jeffrey the 1st of July 2005 rethinking the end of modernity social philosophy today 21 173 189 do 10.5840 forward slash sock fill today 20052120 71 carat Kilgore, Christopher D. 2017. Bad Networks From Virus to Cancer in Post Cyberpunk Narrative. Journal of Modern Literature. 40 2165183 do. 10.2979 forward slash chmodelite.40.2.10 10.2979 forward slash chmodelite.40.2.10 S2 SID 15767047 72 carat Nick Manley Brief Introduction to Left-Wing Laissez-Faire Economic Theory, Part 1 Archived the 18th of August 2021 at the Wayback Machine. 73 carat Nick Maley. Brief introduction to left-wing laissez-faire economic theory, part 2. Archived the 16th of May 2021 at the Wayback Machine. 74 carat Chartier, Gary Johnson, Charles W. 2011. Markets Not Capitalism, Individualist Anarchism Against Bosses, Inequality, Corporate Power, and Structural Poverty Brooklyn, NY Minor Compositions Forward Slash Autonomedia 75 Carat It introduces an eye-opening approach to radical social thought, rooted equally in libertarian Socialism and Market Anarchism Chartier Gary, Johnson, Charles W. 2011. Markets Not Capitalism. Individualist Anarchism Against Bosses, Inequality, Corporate Power, and Structural Poverty. Brooklyn. NY, Minor Compositions Forward Slash Autonomedia. P. Back Cover. 76 carat but there has always been a market-oriented strand of libertarian socialism that emphasizes voluntary cooperation between producers and markets, properly understood, have always been about cooperation. As a commenter at Reason Magazine's Hit and Run blog, remarking on Jesse Walker's link to the Kelly article, put it, every trade is a cooperative act. In fact, it's a fairly common observation among market anarchists that genuinely free markets have the most legitimate claim to the label socialism. Socialism, a perfectly good word rehabilitated archived the 10th of March 2016 at the Wayback Machine by Kevin Carson at website of Center for a Stateless Society. 77 Carat Tucker, Benjamin. State Socialism and Anarchism archived the 11th of March 2019 at the Wayback Machine. 78 Carat Brown, Susan Love. 1997. The Free Market as Salvation from Government. In Meanings of the Market, the Free Market in Western Culture. Berg Publishers. P. 107. 79 Carat Carson, Kevin O. 2008. Organization Theory, a Libertarian Perspective. Charleston, SC Book Search. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 80 Carat Carson, Kevin O. 2010. The Homebrew Industrial Revolution, a Low Overhead Manifesto. Charleston, SC, Book Surge. 81 Carat Long, 
Roderick T. 2000. Reason and Value, Aristotle vs. Rand. Washington, D.C. Objectivist. Center. 82 carat long, Roderick T. 2008. An interview with Roderick Long archived the 27th of March 2020 at the Wayback Machine. 83 carat Johnson, Charles W. 2008. Liberty, Equality, Solidarity, Toward a Dialectical Anarchism. Archived the 26th of June 2022 at the Wayback Machine. Anarchism forward slash minarchism is a government part of a free country. In Long, Roderick T. and Mei Chan, Tibor Aldershot, Ashgit pp. 155188. 84-carat Spangler, Brad, 15 September 2006. Market Anarchism as Stigmergic Socialism Archived 10. May 2011 at archive.today. 85 carat Richmond, Sheldon, the 23rd of June 2010. Why Left Libertarian? Archived the 3rd of January 2020 at the Wayback Machine. The Freeman Foundation for Economic Education. 86 carat Richmond, Sheldon, the 18th of December 2009. Workers of the World Unite for a Free Market. Archived the 22nd of July 2014 at the Wayback Machine. Foundation for Economic Education. 87 carat A B Sheldon Richmond, the 3rd of February 2011. Libertarian Left: Free Market Anti Capitalism: The Unknown. Ideal archived the 9th of May 2012 at the Wayback Machine. The American Conservative. Retrieved 5. March 2012. 88 carat Siabara, Chris Matthew, 2000. Total Freedom Toward a Dialectical Libertarianism. University Park. Pa Pennsylvania State University Press. 89 carat Chartier, Gary, 2009. Economic Justice and Natural Law. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. 90 carat Gillis, William, 2011. The Freed Market. In Chartier, Gary and Johnson, Charles. Markets Not. Capitalism. Brooklyn, NY. Minor Compositions Forward Slash Autonomedia PP 1920 91 Carat Chartier, Gary, Johnson, Charles W. 2011 Markets Not Capitalism, Individualist Anarchism Against Bosses, Inequality, Corporate Power, and Structural Poverty Brooklyn, NY, Minor Compositions forward slash autonomedia. pp. 116. 92 carat Gary Chartier and Charles W. Johnson, eds. Markets not capitalism, individualist anarchism against. Bosses, inequality, corporate power, and structural poverty. Minor compositions, first edition. The 5th of November, 2011. 93 carat Gary Chartier has joined Kevin Carson, Charles W. Johnson and others, echoing the language of Benjamin Tucker, Lysander Spooner and Thomas Hodgkin, in maintaining that, because of its heritage, emancipatory goals and potential, radical market anarchism should be seen by its proponents and by others as part of the socialist tradition and that market anarchists can and should call themselves socialists. See Gary Chartier, advocates of freed markets should oppose capitalism free market anti-capitalism. Session, Annual Conference, Association of Private Enterprise Education, Caesars Palace, 
Las Vegas, NV, the 13th of April, 2010, Gary Chartier, Advocates of Freed Markets Should Embrace Anti-Capitalism archived 29 September 2019 at the Wayback Machine. Gary Chartier, Socialist Ends, Market Means, 5 Essays archived 28 March 2019 at the Wayback Machine. C.P. Tucker, Socialism. 94 Carat Nick Manley. Brief Introduction to Left-Wing Laissez-Faire Economic Theory, Part 1 Archived 18 August 2021 at the Wayback Machine 95 Carat Nick Manley, Brief Introduction to Left-Wing Laissez-Faire Economic Theory, Part 2 Archived the 16th of May 2021 at the Wayback Machine Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 96 Carat Introductions Kevin Carson archived the 29th of March 2019 at the Wayback Machine. 97 Carat Carson, Kevin. Intellectual Property A Libertarian Critique. C4SS.org. Archived from the original. On the 11th of September, 2012. Retrieved the 23rd of May, 2009. 98 Carat Kevin A. Carson, Introduction Archived the 16th of October, 2012 at the Wayback Machine, The Art of the Possible. 99 Carat Carson, Kevin. Industrial Policy, New Wine in Old Bottles. C4SS.org. Archived from the original. On the 11th of September, 2012. Retrieved the 26th of May, 2009. 100 Carat Kevin Carson, Studies in Mutualist Political Economy, Archived the 15th of April, 2011 at the Wayback. Machine CHS 13 101 Carat Carson Kevin A. Carson's Rejoinders archived the 17th of August 2014 at the Wayback Machine Journal of Libertarian Studies Volume 20 Number 1 Winter 2006 97 136 116117 102 Carat A.B. Richmond, Sheldon, Libertarian Left Archived 14 August, 2011 at the Wayback Machine, The American Conservative, March, 2011 103 Carat Dean, Brian, Winter 2002 Bluffer's Guide to Revolutionary Economics The Idler Archived from the original on the 27th of April, 2009. Retrieved the 24th of May, 2009. 104 carat marks, theories of surplus value, 3, p 501. 105 carat C. Gary Chartier, Anarchy and Legal Order, Law and Politics for a Stateless Society, New York. Cambridge UP 2013, 44156. 106 Carat C. Gary Chartier, Natural Law and Non-Aggression Acta Juridica Hungarica 51.2, June 2010. 7996 and, for an earlier version, Justice 3246. 107 Carat C. Justice 4768. 108 Carat Justice 89 120. 109 Carat C. Gary Chartier, Pirate Constitutions and Workplace Democracy Jarabuch fur Reekt und Ethik 18. 2010 449467. 110 Carat Justice 123154. 111 Carat C. Gary Chartier Intellectual Property and Natural Law Australian Journal of Legal Philosophy 36 
2011 112 carat C Justice 176182 113 carat Advocates of Freed Markets Should Embrace Anti-Capitalism Archived 23 October 2021 at the Wayback Machine 114 carat ABCD Spencer J. Pack Capitalism as a Moral System, Adam Smith's Critique of the Free Market Economy Great Britain, Edward Elgar, 2010 Print 115 carat McF, AL 1959 Adam Smith's Moral Sentiments as Foundation for His Wealth of Nations Oxford Economic Papers 11 3209228-10.1093 forward slash Oxford Journals. Ep. 040824. 116 Carat Hobbes, Thomas, 1909 Of Man, Being the First Part of Leviathan. Collier and Son. 117 Carat Enlightenment. History.com 2009 Archived from the original on the 7th of February 2021 Retrieved The 29th of April 2021 118 Carat McNally, David, 1993 Against the Market, Political Economy, Market Socialism and the Marxist Critique Verso. ISBN 978-0-86091-606-2. 119 Carat Dustaler, Gills, Keynes and His Battles, Edward Elgar Publishing, 2007, p. 91. 120 Carat Dustaler 2007, p. 91, Barnett, Vincent. John Maynard Keynes, Routledge, 2013, p. 143. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 121 Carat White, Lawrence H. 1999. Why didn't Hayek favor laissez-faire in banking? PDF. History of Political Economy 31 47537692 10.1215 forward slash 00182702-31-4-753 Archived PDF from the Original on the 1st of April 2013 Retrieved the 11th of April, 2013. 122 Carat Polanyi, Karl, 1944. The Great Transformation. Führer and Reinhardt. 123 Carat McCloskey, Deirdre, 1997. Polanyi was right and wrong, PDF. Eastern Economic Journal. Archived. PDF, from the original on the 7th of August, 2021. Retrieved the 26th of July, 2021. 124 carat Kuttner, Robert, the 19th of December, 2001. Globalization and its critics. The American Prospect. Archived from the original on the 13th of September 2018. Retrieved the 17th of March 2019. 125 carat Kirkhove, Gilbert Van, 2012. Toxic capitalism: the orgy of consumerism and waste. Are we the last generation on Earth? Author House. ISBN 978-1-4772-1906-5 Retrieved 9 February 2017 
126 carat Muntifring's criticism of raw capitalism strikes a chord. Financial Times. Archived from the original on the 10th of December 2022. Retrieved the 9th of February 2017. Permanent dead link. Sources, edit. Brandon, Barbara, 1986. The Passion of Ayn Rand. Garden City, New York, Doubleday and Company. ISBN 0-385-19171-5. OCLC 12614728. Burns, Jennifer, 2009. Goddess of the Market, Ayn Rand and the American Right. New York. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-532487-7. OCLC 31366502828. Denuil, Douglas and Rasmussen, Douglas, eds. 1986-1984. The Philosophic Thought of Ain. Rand, Paperback ED. Chicago, University of Illinois Press. ISBN 978-0-252-01407-9. Doherty, Brian, 2007. Radicals for Capitalism, A Freewheeling History of the Modern American. Libertarian Movement. New York. Public Affairs Press. ISBN 978-1-58648-350-0. Gottelf, Allen, 2000. On Ayn Rand. What's Worth Publishing. ISBN 978-0-534-57625-7. Paykoff, Leonard, 1991. Objectivism, The Philosophy of Ayn Rand. New York, Dutton. ISBN 978-0-452-01101-4. Merrill, Ronald E. 1991. The Ideas of Ayn Rand. La Salle, Illinois, Open Court Publishing. ISBN 0-8126-9157-1. Siabara, Chris Matthew, 1995. Ayn Rand, The Russian Radical. University Park. Pennsylvania State University Press. ISBN 978-0-271-01440-0. OCLC 31133644. Further reading, edit. Brebner, John Bartlett, 1948. Laissez-faire and state intervention in 19th century Britain. Journal. Of Economic History. 8. 5973. Do. 10.1017 forward slash s0022050700009000. S2 SID 15425623. Fisher, Irving, January, 1907. Why has the doctrine of laissez faire been abandoned? Science. 25. 627 1827. Bib code, 1907 SCI, 25, 18 F. Do, 10. 1126 forward slash science. 25.627.18. Just a 163 Pmid 17739703. Archived from the original on the 20th of April 2021. Retrieved the 2nd of September 2020. Torsig, Frank W. 1904. The present position of the doctrine of free trade. Publications of the 
American Economic Association. 6. 12965. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Jelak, Christian, 2005, Wu Wei in Europe, A Study of Eurasian Economic Thought Archived 2021 03. 22 at the Wayback Machine London School of Economics. Block, Fred, Summers, Margaret R. 2014. The Power of Market Fundamentalism, Karl Polyany's Critique. Cambridge, Ma, Harvard University Press. ISBN 978-0-674-05071-6. Archived from the original on 2021. 04-29. Retrieved the 31st of December, 2014. Virgin, Frank the Great Challenge, The Myth of Laissez-Faire in the Early Republic, George Brazilla. Inc., 1989, Harper and Row, 1990. Kaplan, Brian, 2008. Laissez-Faire Policy. In Hamoe, Ronald, ed. The Encyclopedia of Libertarianism. Thousand Oaks, CA, Sage, Cato Institute. pp. 279281. Do, 10.4135 forward slash 9781412965811.n167. ISBN 978-1-4129-6580-4. LCCN 2008009151. OCLC 75083102424. Archived from the original on the 31st of March, 2022. Retrieved the 18th of March, 2022. Wu Wei in Europe. A Study of Eurasian Economic Thought, PDF. Archived, PDF, from the original. On the 3rd of August, 2020. Retrieved the 13th of February, 2009. 773 kilobytes, by Christian J. Lack. London School of Economics March 2005 John Maynard Keynes The End of Laissez-Faire 1926 archived the 27th of October 2018 at the Wayback Machine Carter Goodrick Government Promotion of American Canals and Railroads 181890 archived the 24th of February 2012 at the Wayback Machine, Greenwood Press, 1960. Goodrick, Carter. American Development Policy, The Case of Internal Improvements Journal of Economic History, 16, 1956, 449460. Goodrick, Carter. National Planning of Internal Improvements Political Science Quarterly, 63. 1948. 1644. Johnson, E.A.J., The Foundations of American Economic Freedom, Government and Enterprise in the Age. Of Washington, University of Minnesota Press, 1973. Sidney Webb, 1889, Fabian Essays in Socialism The Basis of Socialism The Period of Anarchy. Isenach, Eldon J. Nation and Economy. The Lost Promise of Progressivism, University Press of Kansas. 2021, pp. 138186, do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctv1p2gkzz.10. Mittermeier, Carl, et al. Individualism and Public Spirit. The Hand Behind the Invisible Hand, Dogmatic and Pragmatic Views on Free Markets and the State of Economic Theory, 1st ed., 
Bristol University Press. 2020, pp. 115148, do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctv186grks.17. Demuijnk, Sam, et al. Pragmatic Pluralism. Economy Studies, A Guide to Rethinking Economics. Education, Amsterdam University Press, 2021, pp. 301327, do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctv23khmgr.26. Williamson, Stephen D., and Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis. Research Department. Laissez-faire. Banking and Circulating Media of Exchange. No. 382, Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis, pp. 136. community.281114194. Schmidt, Jeremy J. Laissez-faire Metaphysics. Water, Abundance, Scarcity, and Security in the Age of Humanity, New York University Press, 2017, pp. 4367, do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctt1ggjjbf.6. McGarity, Thomas O. Part 1 Introduction. Dot. Freedom to Harm, The Lasting Legacy of the Laissez-Faire. Revival, Yale University Press, 2013, pp. 912, Jster J.CTT 32 BHHT.5. Viner, Jacob, 1991. Adam Smith and Laissez-Faire. Essays on the Intellectual History of Economics. Edited by Douglas R. Irwin, Princeton University Press, 1991, pp. 85113, JSTJ.CTT7ZTZ3W.6. McGarity, Thomas O. The Laissez Faire Benchmark. Freedom to Harm, The Lasting Legacy of the Laissez Faire Revival, Yale University Press, 2013 pp. 1317, jsta j.ctt32bhht.6. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Cullender, David and Coopers, Roland. Laissez-faire activism. Complexity and the art of public policy. Solving Society's Problems from the Bottom Up Princeton University Press, 2014, pp. 214236 Do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctt6wq04g.15 Bowen, Howard R., et al. Social Responsibilities and Laissez-Faire Social Responsibilities of the Businessman, University of Iowa Press, 2013, pp. 1421, do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctt20q1w8f.8. Bladen, Vincent. Laissez-faire. From Adam Smith to Maynard Keynes, The Heritage of Political. Economy, University of Toronto Press, 1974, pp. 9195, just a 10.3138 forward slash j.ct15jjdnk.16. Perkins, Dwight H. Government Intervention vs. Laissez-Faire in Northeast Asia. East Asian. Development. Harvard University Press, 2013, pp. 6699, jsta j.ctt6wppr.6. Calvo, Christopher W. Less fair in the American tradition. 
The Emergence of Capitalism in Early America, 1st ED, University Press of Florida, 2020, pp. 2774, do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctvwvr323.5. Stricker, Frank. Discipline for the Unemployed, Laissez-faire for Business, 1873-1920, dot. American. Unemployment, Past, Present, and Future, University of Illinois Press, 2020, pp. 1538. Do, 10.5406 forward slash j.ctv1220 rqn.5. MAGA, Gnome. Cultivating the laissez-faire metropolis. Brahmin Capitalism, Frontiers of Wealth and Populism in America's First Gilded Age, Harvard University Press, 2017, pp. 5395. Jster J.CTV24TRD1J.6 Blisser, Mario. Laissez-faire Progress, Invisibilizing the Yermo. Storytelling Globalization from the Chico and Beyond, Duke University Press, 2010, pp. 4162, do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctv11cw0jf.7. Howell, Chris. The Construction of the Collective Laissez-Faire System, 1890-1940. Trade Unions and The State, The Construction of Industrial Relations Institutions in Britain, 1892-2000, Princeton University Press, 2005, pp. 4685, Jster J.CTT7SPJH.6 Leacock, Stephen Laissez-faire and Legislation my Recollection of Chicago and the Doctrine of Laissez. Fair, edited by Carl Spardini, University of Toronto Press, 1998, pp. 3540. Just a 10.3138 forward slash 2 sx 810 Strum, Philippa. From Laissez Fair Capitalism to Worker Management. Brandeis, Beyond Progressivism. University Press of Kansas, 1993, pp. 2448, do, 10.2307 forward slash j.ctv1p2gkvd.7. Haylevy, Le. Paper Money and Consummate Men, Capitalism and the Rise of Laissez-Faire Salafism. Modern Things on Trial, Islam's Global and Material Reformation in the Age of Rider, 1865-1935, Columbia. University Press, 2019, pp. 96-130, just a 10.7312 forward slash hail 18866.10. Colosy, Peter. In Search of the Warrior Statesman, The Critique of Laissez-Faire Capitalism by Brooks. Adams and Theodore Roosevelt. Conservatives Against Capitalism, From the Industrial Revolution to Globalization, Columbia University Press, 2017, pp. 5176. Just a 10.7312 forward slash colo 16652.6. Pally, Thomas I. Milton Friedman, The Great Laissez Faire Partisan. Economic and Political Weekly, Volume 41, No. 49, 2006, pp. 5041 5043. Just a 4419000. Holroyd, Karen Lee. Governments and International Trade, an Intellectual Analysis. Government. 
international trade, and laissez-faire capitalism, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand's relations with Japan, McGill Queen's University Press, 2002, pp. 1539, jstaj.ctt7zmzz.7. Simons, Henry C., William Briott, Roger L. Ransom, and Robert M. Solo. Radical proponent of laissez. Fair. In the Academic Scribblers, 207221. Princeton University Press, 1998. Do. 2307 forward slash j.ctt7zvbf2.18. Henry, John F. The Ideology of the Laissez Faire Program. Journal of Economic Issues, Volume 42, No. 1. Association for Evolutionary Economics, 2008, pp. 209224. Just a 2551-1295. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Adams, Walter, and James W. Brock. The impact of economic power is discussed. Public policy interests. In economic liberty and democratic process yield a conundrum. Antitrust Economics on Trial, a Dialogue. On the New Laissez-Faire, Princeton University Press, 1991, pp. 115128, jstaj.ctt7zvvhc.8. Lal, Deepak. From Laissez-Faire to the Dirigist Dogma. Reviving the Invisible Hand, the Case for. Classical Liberalism in the 21st Century, Princeton University Press, 2006, pp. 4861. Jstaj.ctt7sjk9.6. Fried, Barbara H. The Empty Idea of Property Rights. The Progressive Assault on Laissez-Faire, Robert. Hale and the First Law and Economics Movement. Harvard University Press, 1998, pp. 71107. Do. 10.2307 forward slash j.ctvk12r43.6. Rogers, Daniel T. Twilight of Laissez Faire. Atlantic Crossings Social Politics in a Progressive Age. Harvard University Press. 1998, pp. 76111, jstaj.ctv1qdr01w.6. Brown, D.K. 2016. Free Market Criminal Justice, How Democracy and Laissez-Faire Undermine the Rule of Law. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-045787-7. LCCN 20150231244. Berend, IT. 2006. An Economic History of 20th Century Europe, Economic Regimes from Laissez. Fair to Globalization. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1-139-45264-9. Dukes, R. 2014. The Labour Constitution, The Enduring Idea of Labour Law. Oxford Scholarship. Online. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-960169-1. LCCN 20149436566. Pusky, J. 2016. The Political Economy of Progress, John Stuart Mill and Modern Radicalism. Oxford. Studies in History of Economics. Oxford University Press. 
ISBN 978-0-19-0460655-5 LCCN 201600-8348 Archived from the original on the 8th of February, 2024 Retrieved the 11th of March, 2022 Tanzi, V. 2011 Government vs. Markets, The Changing Economic Role of the State Cambridge University Press ISBN 978-1-139-49973-6 Permanent Dead Link Fried, B. 2009 The Progressive Assault on Laissez-Faire, Robert Hale and the First Law and Economics Movement. Harvard University Press. ISBN 978-0-674-03730-4. Archived from the original on 2024. 02-08. Retrieved the 11th of March, 2022. Rothschild, E. 2013. Economic Sentiments, Adam Smith, Condorcet, and the Enlightenment. Harvard. University Press. ISBN 978-0-674-72562-1. Archived from the original on 8 February, 2024. Retrieved. The 11th of March, 2022. Cummings, S. Brigman, T. Hassard, J. Rowlinson, M. 2017. A New History of Management. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1-107-13814-8. LCCN 201701213. Archived from the original. On the 8th of February, 2024. Retrieved the 11th of March, 2022. Leacock, S. Spardini, C. 1998. My Recollection of Chicago, and, The Doctrine of Laissez-Faire. G. Reference, Information and Interdisciplinary Subjects Series. University of Toronto Press. ISBN 978-0-8020-8121-6. LCCN 9917-2372. Archived from the original on 8 February, 2024. Retrieved the 11th of March, 2022. By Abrisha, T. 2019. The Political Theory of Neoliberalism. Currencies, New Thinking for Financial. Times. Stanford University Press. ISBN 978-1-5036-0783-5. LCCN 201801675-8. Archived from the Original on the 8th of February, 2024. Retrieved the 11th of March, 2022. Viner, J. Dot, Irwin, D. A. 2014. Essays on the Intellectual History of Economics. Princeton Legacy Library. Princeton University Press. ISBN 978-1-4008-6205-4. Archived from the original on the 25th of October, 2022. Retrieved the 25th of October, 2022. Knight, Frank, Emmett, R.B. 1999. Selected Essays by Frank H. Knight. Volume 2, Laissez-Faire, Pro and Con. University of Chicago Press.
ISBN 978-0-226-44697-4 LCCN 9805-3133 Archived from the Original on the 8th of February, 2024 Retrieved the 11th of March, 2022 Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Friedman, Milton, Savage, Leonard Jimmy, Becker, Gary, 2007. Milton Friedman on Economics, Selected. Papers. University of Chicago Press. ISBN 978-0-226-26349-6 LCCN 200703104 Archived from The original on the 8th of February, 2024 Retrieved the 11th of March, 2022 External links, edit Laissez-faire at Encyclopedia Britannica Online Categories, Capitalism Classical Liberalism Conservatism Economic History of France Economic Liberalism Ideologies of Capitalism Individualism Market Socialism Minarchism Neoliberalism Political Movements Political Theories Right-wing Politics Right Libertarianism Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.